Okay, tell me about global atmospheric circulation. What is what is it all about? High pressure, low pressure? Why do the winds go in weird directions? I don't understand it. Tell me about it. Right, here we go. So, oh, it's a very big guy. Um, right, so it's nearly <laughs> through the sun. And um, the sun's energy obviously travels to the earth, um, and it's at the equator is really, really concentrated. Uh, so you, that's why it's hottest at the equator. Whereas the sun's energy traveling to the poles, you can see it's much more spaced out, it's a bigger surface area, and it's got longer to travel, so the temperature is much colder at the poles. So let's start, zero degrees at the equator. Uh, our lines of latitude then go 30. Then we've got 60, round about where the UK is. And then we've got 90, up high uh, the North Pole. So the sun's energy is really, really intense at the equator, and as a result of this really, really intense sunshine, um, the Earth's surface heats up really, really rapidly here. So as it heats up, um, the air above starts to rise. Now warm air always rises. Um, like Mr. Smallman's video, he showed you how when warm air rises, it then cools, condenses, and then moves out towards 30 degrees north and south. Now, as it cools and condenses, it creates huge amounts of low pressure. So you've got... Okay, so we've got this really, really warm air, this warm, unstable air, and it's rising at the equator, creating this low pressure. So you've got lots and lots of rainfall at the equator. And then at 30 degrees, it starts to cool down again, and that cooler air starts to sink back uh, down to Earth at 30 degrees, and then it travels back to the equator to warm up again. So where uh, cooler air is sinking, it's not cold air, it's cooler air, uh, that is where we get high pressure. So you get really, really sunny skies at 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south of the equator. This is where you want to go on holiday, really, really warm. At the poles, uh, we've got this cold air, so it's really cold up here because the insulation is not as extreme. So we've got high pressure at the poles, really, really sunny, very little rainfall happening now or snow. So we've got uh, cooler air sinking and this travels back towards the equator uh, where it warms up again. So at 60, uh, where the air is warmer, we get this rising uh, and because the air is rising, it's cooling, it's condensing and that's creating clouds and low pressure again. Okay, so we've got an area of low pressure at zero, we've got an area of high pressure at 30 and we've got an area of low pressure at 60 again, high pressure at 90, so you can see it's alternative. And we just need to fill in the gaps here. So uh, we've got air coming back to the equator and back to the equator here. And this cell is just the exact opposite. It's called the feral cell. And it's like a feral uh, sister or brother that do things slightly differently. So this is Hadley and this is Polar. So um, you can see very clearly we get rainfall here at the equator. We get sunshine and clear skies here. We get rainfall at 60 and we get sunshine and clear skies at 90. So that is what the weather conditions are like. Um, the main factors that actually cause this air to be redistributed is wind, and the wind always blows from high pressure to low pressure. Winds blow from high to low, gotta remember that. So um, from 90 to 60, the high pressure's at 90, so the winds blow from high to low, high pressure to low pressure like so, and these are known as the easterly winds. Remember, winds are named the way they come from, so they're moving from the east. Um, and you'll remember that the Polar and the Hadley are both moving in the same direction, so let's move down to here. Again, winds blow from high to low, so like that, and these are known as the trade winds. And then the feral cell is the opposite. Remember, high to low, so where is your high pressure here? And they blow like that, from high pressure at 30 to low pressure at 60, and these are known as the westerly winds because again, they're travelling from the west to the east. So what I don't understand is at 30 degrees, you're saying that there's sunshine, but yeah. you're saying that there's no rain. So why is that? Why is there no rain at 30 degrees, even though it's really hot? So I would say to you, uh, have a look at the pressure. So what pressure is it? High pressure. And high pressure means that air is sinking, so therefore we've got clear skies and no clouds forming. Okay, so you can't get rain at 30 degrees because the air is sinking. Okay, so you get a desert That's there. That's where you get deserts because it's really hot, it's been really, really dry. So where do you get the rainforest? 
So tropical rainforest is really, really hot, so it's got to be uh, between zero and 30, but it's also really, really wet, 2,000 millimetres per, per, per year, sorry. So where is the low pressure? Here we go with the equator. Intense insulation causes that heat to rise. As it rises, it cools, condenses and clouds. The three C's, cool, condense, clouds. So therefore it rains here, so that's where you get TRF, tropical rainforest. And where are we on this globe? We are about here. Okay. In the UK, we're just below the 60 degrees. Okay. So we get rainfall, because look, we're on a low pressure zone. And the other thing I don't understand is why does the arrow go up from deserts from 30 degrees to 60? Why is the arrow going in the up direction when the other two arrows are coming down? Because winds blow high to low. From high to low and your high pressure is 30 degrees and your low pressure is 60. So winds blow from high to low. Okay, so the high pressure is in the deserts mm -hmm. and the low pressure is in the UK. Yeah, so, so. let's use a different colour again. So we've got uh, low pressure, so we've got rainfall here. We've got high pressure, so we've got clear skies here. We've got low pressure, so we've got rainfall here. And we've got high pressure, so we've got sunshine. of the sun at the equator causes hot air to rise. As it rises, it cools, it condenses, and it forms clouds, or clouds, as I say. <laughs> C, C, and C, uh, which creates this really big area of low pressure. Actually, there's four Cs. Cools, condenses, and forms cumulonimbus clouds. Four Cs. Um, so we get huge amounts of rainfall at the equator as a result. Um, now, as the air rises, it gets redistributed north and south of the equator to 30 degrees where it's slightly cooler. Um, and as air is sinking, that creates high pressure. So you get really, really sunny areas um, and dry areas at 30 degrees. Uh, and when the air sinks back time to, the, to land, it then goes back to the equator to be heated up again and the same process happens. And that is known as the Hadley sap. Now the same thing happens at the pole, um, you've got cooler air and it's sinking. Uh, this travels to 60 to get warmed up. As it warms up, it rises, it cools, it condenses, it forms cumulus clouds, four seas, and we get this area of low pressure. And once again, it travels back to the poles where it sinks again and the whole process happens one more time so you get polar cell. As the air sinks here, we get high pressure. Really, really sunny and really, really clear. Although it's very cold there. Um, and the last cell then is the ferrule, and it's just driven by the other two, so it goes the opposite direction. Um, and you can see here, because we've got low pressure, it's raining here, and very dry there. So we've got alternating low, high, low, high. Okay, so where you've written rainfall, why is it zero degrees Celsius? Why is it so cold where you've written rainfall? It's not degrees centigrade. If that had that on it, it would be degrees centigrade. But it doesn't, so what does it mean? What other degrees have we got? Lines of? Ooh, latitude. Oh my God, yes, lines of latitude. Okay, so that means that it's not 60 degrees Celsius where it's raining. No, absolutely not. So it's so much hotter at the equator because the sun's energy is really intense and the further north and further south you go, it's so much colder. So this explains why we get tropical rainforests at zero degrees, deserts at 30 degrees, rainfall at 60 degrees where we live and cold deserts at 90 degrees.